everyone, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be showing you Cursed City, I'm going to be unboxing and building a couple of things and kit bashing some stuff. I was super excited to get Cursed City because it is definitely my aesthetic. I love all of this kind of horror vibes. Vampires, werewolves, zombies, everything. Love it. I know that it's not going to be available anymore to buy, which is really rubbish, but if you missed out, at least you'll still be able to get reprints of the models themselves. It's kind of lame that no one's going to be able to play the game itself, because it looked like it would have been fun, but hey, I mean, the models are the most exciting thing. So inside the box there's obviously a bunch of sprues, all the bases to match, a bunch of dice, which are actually quite nice. Cards and stuff you need to play the game. I'm going to have a quick look in the rule book. These two guys here are my favourite models. The big werewolf looking thing and Gorslav. I can't wait to paint those. So these are all the instructions to put everything together, which I'm going to need. And I'm looking for my two favourite models. Here they are, so I can start putting them together. I have to say, even though they're push fit, they are not easy to put together. I don't know whether it's just me or the design, but it took me ages to figure out, even with the pictures, how to get these things to go together. And it shouldn't be that difficult. They didn't fit together very well either. Like there were still some quite big gaps on the joints. It looks fine, but I feel like they should have fitted together a bit better. But no worries, because I'm going to use some green stuff uh, to make the joints a bit more seamless. I know some people just like cutting off the push fit bits and gluing it together because it's easier to modify them as well if you're doing that. But I think I'm just going to opt for the push fit and glue the bits that seem to be falling off and then cover up the joints with green stuff. Green stuff is like a two-part epoxy clay type thing that you just mix together in equal parts and use it like clay or putty to like fill in wherever you want and then after a while it hardens up by itself. I really like this model so I want to put in the effort because if you're going to spend ages painting it then you don't really want to see the joints at the end. the same with the werewolf guy like it was quite obvious like pieces to put together but still the joints were like kind of meh and I did feel like the shoulder was gonna fall off put together but not quite finished because they need a little bit of shaving down. So to get rid of the joints where they were touching the sprues I usually just take my sharp scalpel. You should probably cut away from yourself rather than towards yourself but please be careful. Then I've also got some little files to smooth out the last little bit and that's it really I'm not going crazy with it. Sometimes I'm a bit lazy with them if it's like troops or something but I feel like these Coast City models deserve some attention to detail. But I feel like it would be a bit boring just to put them all together as they're supposed to be. I want to do some kit bashing because I know that I'm not going to be using the order models as order models and I think a few of these guys would look great as vampire lords so I'm going to try and turn Cleona Zeitengale. Let's turn Cleona into a demon priestess. I do like the fringe cape thing but I'm going to give her some bat wings and I'll use the cape for someone else.
So I'm just going to smooth out the bit that's supposed to join to the cape with green stuff. I'm just using my scalpel because I'm too lazy to get out my clay sculpting tools. I'm just going to take another little blob of green stuff and squidge it together. I think she looks pretty cool. I mean, I would stick bat wings on anything and think that it was cooler. She could definitely be a necromancer or vampire lord. And I think this dude could probably just be used as a necromancer as he is, but I decided to put the cape from Cleona onto Ocran. Ocran Glimscry. I just stuck it on with super glue. I like these other two guys as well. Jelson Darok. Glorio Van Alten. But I want to make them look a bit more spooky. So I'm going to stick bats on them again, and I'm using green stuff for this. Let's take a look at all the kit bash models. I hope this inspires you guys to use these models creatively and surprise! Gorse Lab also got some bat wings. Here is a preview for next week where I'll show you how I painted him up. But for now, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you next week.